All right, in this video, we are going to be doing the University of Waterloo Canadian Computing Competition 2021 Problem J3, Secret Instructions. So basically in this one, uh, someone's given some secret instructions, they give you some sample input. So in this case, you have like five, seven, two, three, four. And then essentially you need to find the first, uh, the sum of the first two digits. Now the problem is that finding the sum, like finding these two digits is difficult because the input is basically a string input. If you don't take the input as a string, then, well, I guess there's other strategies you could use uh, to, because if you enter 00907, then um, that will just be a 907 and that could mess things up. So it's probably easier just to take everything as a string and then manipulate it down and find the instructions from there. And then basically if the sum of the digits is even, uh, then the first two digits is even, then you say the word right. If it's, if it's, uh, zero, if the sum is zero, then it comes to, um, it, it actually just says the previous instruction. And if it's odd, so like three and four is seven, then you would say left. Okay, and then here, and then nine, 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 nine. So five nines is the exit input, and meaning that's uh, when you're gonna exit. Okay, so yeah, that's it, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna say int, or not int, we're gonna say string input. Okay, and what we're gonna do then is we are gonna say while input does not equal to 99999. All right, so if the person enters that, then that's gonna be a problem. All right, so what we'll do is we'll say uh, C, well, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and it'll set the input to be equal to zero to start, or we can't set it to be equal to zero, so just set it to be an empty string. Okay, then what we can say is we can just say input, um, C in input. So we're gonna just take in the input. All right, now at this point, the input could have been 99999. So we have to make an if statement to say if the input was not equal to 99999. Okay, and if it is, or what we can do is actually we can just check and say if it is equal to 99999, then we can actually just break. So just break out of this and then we don't we won't do anything underneath it. Okay. Now from this point on we can actually just continue and we have to we have to get our first digits out of the string. So what we can do is we can recognize that we can actually look at these values and get the chars out of them. Now in Java, the command would be char at, but in C++, we can just treat it like an array. So what I can do is I can, the first character in this string is input at zero. All right. Now input at zero would read a nine, but it would be an ASCII table nine. So that would not be the same as a, as a numeric nine. Okay. And I can, um, I could demonstrate that uh, here if I wanted, uh, let's do this. Okay. So if I had like input was a nine and I just said C out input at zero. Okay, so if I did that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show um, the nine because it will be a char. All right, it'll, so it'll look like it's okay, but it's not. So there's the nine. But if I cast it into an integer, so if I tell the computer to treat it like an integer, all of a sudden you're gonna see that it's a 57 and that's gonna create a problem, right? Because that nine is has an ASCII value of 57. So that's why that you can't just read it as an individual char character out like that. Okay, nonetheless, uh, we have our, well, the input is not 9999. Well, well, we didn't choose to exit. Read in the input. If it is that 999, then break. Okay, so our first digit is our uh, zero, is, is the ASCII number. But what we have to do is we have to subtract the uh, character zero from it. Okay, now the reason why is because the ASCII table. Let me pull it up and I'll show you why. Okay, so here we have the ASCII table and you can see the number nine here has a value of 57, right? The letter zero or the symbol zero or character zero has a value of 48. So what we can do, and because they're sequential, what I can do is I can say the nine 
is is actually 57 and I can subtract 48 from it. So 57 minus 48 is 9, right? And so that's why I can just say subtract the character 0 from it. So getting back to the code, if I say input 0 minus uh, the letter 0, that's going to give me the very first, the, the integer, numeric integer of the first digit. Okay, and then what I can do is I can put those in parentheses. Okay, and then I can say plus. Now the second digit, we're going to do the exact same thing. Input 1 uh, minus the character 0. And that will give us the second, the sum of the first two digits. Okay, and what I can do is I can store that in some, some variable. All right, so I've got this sum variable now and I've stored my first two digits in there. And then we have the questions to say like, is it right, left, or, um, I think it's just right or left, right? And that depends on it's even or odd. And I have to actually go back and check the question parameters to see which is which. So just give me a moment. All right, so we have the first one is, let's see, if the sum is odd, then you go left. And if it's even, uh, then you go right. But if it's zero, then you do the previous instruction. So left is odd. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say if the sum was, uh, okay, now how do you know if it's odd, right? Well, what you do is you'd say sum modulus 2 is equal to 1, right? So if sum modulus 2 is equal to 1, this means that this is an odd number, okay? And then what we do is say C out um, left, Okay, and we need a space beside it, so that's why I'm also including that space. And if you look at the problem specification, the problem specifications show that it is like the right or left, followed by a space and followed by the last three digits, right? So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it here. Okay, so left followed by a space, okay? Then else if the sum is equal to, now, Let's say, let's just go the odd, uh, the even one. So sum modulus two is equal to zero. So this would be an even number, right? Then we would say C out right. Okay, and then the last thing would be if it's equal to zero, okay? But the problem is that if we have sum modulus two is equal to zero, then if a, a sum of zero would get picked up in this else statement here, and that's gonna kind of mess us up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this down into the else statement. Okay, and I'm just gonna say if the sum was equal to zero, and I'll take care of that situation in here. Okay, now the problem is we have to say what the previous string, what the previous command was. So up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say string previous is equal to empty string. And if we do say that there's an odd uh, left, num uh, left command, then at the same time, what we'll say is the previous uh, command was equal to left, like that. Same thing down here is if we ever say right, then the previous command was equal to right with a space. All right, and then here we can say if it was an even number, then we would just say C out previous. Okay, and then we don't actually have to change the previous because the previous would still be the same as the, the thing right before it. All right, now after that, we, so we would say, so we read in the number, okay? We find the individual sums of the first two digits. We say left or uh, left, the previous one or right. And then we have to follow it up with the three last digits. And so I'm gonna say C out, and I'm just gonna brute force this. So I'm gonna say C out, and I could use like a substring or something like that, but I'm not going to. So zero, position zero is the first number, position one's the second number. So we're gonna go position two input in position three and input in position position four like that okay and i believe that should be it okay so let's test it against the test code that was given to us and see how we do 
All right, so we're gonna run this code now. And, oh, I forgot a semicolon. And that's okay, that sometimes happens. Okay, okay so here is the sample com sample input that we got from the, uh, from the exam. So we're gonna go 57234, okay. And then our output would be right, should be right 234, okay. 00907, this should be right 907. Right, 907, and then uh, 34100, that the output should be uh, left 100, okay, and then 99999, and that should just end, right? And that looks good. All right, so I'm going to throw this into the grader and see how we do. All right, so I plugged this into the grader, and actually I got distracted for a moment, so it's probably already done grading everything. Let's see how we did. Yeah, okay, so all correct. And there's a easy 15 out of 15 on junior three. So yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be doing junior four and junior five uh, if I have time. Uh, might not be tonight, but uh, if you're not watching this in real time, then it probably won't matter. And I'm also not posting this in real time because um, the contest is actually still live at this time. So um, if I was to post this, then be kind of rude to the University of Waterloo. So I'm not doing that. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Video.